Hi guys, I'm Seb, head bartender and mixologist at Gym and Tonic, and I'm here today to teach you another delicious gin-based classic cocktail called the White Lady. So the White Lady is one of those drinks which uh, a lot of people claim to have invented it. Um, originally, it was believed to be invented in 1919 uh, uh, by legendary uh, bartender uh, Harry McAllen. Uh, while he was working in London at, at Chiros Club. Um, back then, he published a recipe in which he was, uh, he was using equal parts creme de menthe white. Uh, he was using uh, triple sec, but also lemon juice, all in equal parts. Uh, it was later on, 1923, when he moved to uh, Harry's uh, American bar, uh, New York bar in Paris. Um, it was there where he flipped the, uh, the creme de menthe uh, he changed it with gin, uh, making the gin, making the drink slightly uh, drier. Um, further on, 1930s, uh, just seven years later, uh, Harry Craddock, legendary Harry Craddock, uh, at the Savoy Bar, uh, the American Bar uh, at the Savoy, uh, he published the recipe, but he increased the gin in there, so making the drink even even more drier. Um, the final touch uh, will have to be uh, Peter Dorelli, uh, legendary bar manager Peter Dorelli, uh, who was also working at the American bar uh, at the Savoy, and he had the brilliant idea to finish off the drink with just a touch of egg white, giving that smooth and creamy texture at the finish. Thus, the white lady was born. It became an instant favorite, and we're still enjoying it now, uh, decades later. It's gonna be a shaken drink, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-chill my glass. We can leave that on the side. We're gonna go for Kraft uh, Grapefruit and Hop Gin, just because we're gonna be adding uh, Curaçao, which is an orange liqueur in there. Uh, so it only makes sense to pair it with a citrusy gin. This one in particular uh, uses uh, grapefruit. So that's gonna marry up beautifully with, uh, with the orange liqueur. So we're gonna go ahead and add a healthy portion, 50 ml of gin. Next, we're gonna add curacao, sweet orange liqueur, and we're gonna go for 20 of that. For a, just a touch more sweetness, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of uh, simple sugar syrup, ratio two on one. Last but not least, to, break, to, to make the balance, we're gonna go for fresh lemon juice. And we're gonna go for 25 ml. and add that in. Fresh egg white. I suggest you break the egg on the side because in case you drop the egg yolk, uh, you don't want to drop that inside the cocktail. So we're just going to break that separately here. No room for mistake. All right. So now we're ready to dry shake it just to break the texture of the egg. So no ice required at this point. Usually I give it just a few throws. You don't need to do this. Um, I'm just showing off to be fair. No, I'm joking. So it's just to aerate the drink and to break the egg whites texture. We're emulsifying everything. Beautiful. So now we're ready to ice it up. And give that a firm shake. Blend all the flavors together. Let's give that a go.
All right, we're gonna discard the ice and we're gonna double strain everything into our pre-chilled coupette. Look at that lovely texture. Beautiful. So now I'm just gonna allow it five seconds for the fluff to, to proper settle itself before I apply the garnish. So originally the garnish is a, is a simple one, it's just a dried fruit on top. But today I just wanna push it a hint further and I'm gonna garnish that with uh, Peshot bitters and we're gonna do a bit of Peshot art. And I can show you how as well. So now the fluff is settled, we're going to go ahead and draw two lines there and we're going to push it even further now and beautiful. So I'm treating it as the barista would treat a latte, that's how I'm treating this beautiful sour. So there we have it, citrusy, creamy, fresh, but also beautiful, white lady, enjoy.